Uh, I would hope I could have somebody actually film this, and I'll explain that why in a minute. Video this. All right, seniors, here we are, 100 degrees. Glaive's still yelling at you to do the right thing, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, let's start with the senior awards. Uh, each year, the students of the orchestra vote for who they believe is most deserving of leadership and outstanding musician in the entire orchestra program. These are huge honors, because we have 200 of them here saying, you are the one that I think deserves this honor. Uh, these students will be provided a small gift card at graduation. For me, just find me, I'll get you a little gift card. And uh, in a few weeks to honor their achievement. The first award is Outstanding Leadership. This is given to students who go above and beyond to help the program. They represent consistency, have a great sense of how to solve problems, and are generally very helpful people in making a great orchestra program. They're kind of like the moms and dads that take care of their group. This year we have two recipients for Outstanding Leadership, and they are Julia Hines and Jamie Johnson. hug you because there's no room. Um, it's too hot for hugging too, yes. Okay, and in regards to outstanding musician, this award is given to a student who demonstrates musical excellence through hard work, technique, and musical artistry. Uh, I thought a lot about this, uh, and we have one candidate that I think rose above and kept challenging all the time, and his name is Max Mesa. This goes to Max. The final award for the evening is the Orchestra Director Award, and this is one I get to give. And this is, I ask for everybody's opinion on this, but ultimately I have to say in this. This award has, goes to somebody who in my four years of the program, go through a checklist what I believe is a strong orchestral citizen, is what I call it. These people are consistent, trustworthy, loyal, it's a calm demeanor, fully committed, they're kind, they're musically skilled, they're warm and inviting. Even when it's hard to be warm and inviting. I, I try to find the goods in all these people, and this person challenged me as a musician, and challenged me as a person to think about how I should be taking care of my students, uh, and how the downbeat sometimes is the most important thing, making sure they are okay is the most important thing. And the reason I have you film this is because the person who has this award is not here, because she just went home with the 102 temperature. And I'm hoping somebody sees this and they can pass this along to Marie Rusinski, who's the director award this year. Please applaud. <laughs> class would develop an identity. And in my opinion, I really didn't see any of you carrying a giant ego, at least in front of me. I mean, oh, your ego's in your backpack? Okay. So that's okay, Maya. Uh, so, you know, you didn't really bring unnecessary concerns to me, which was really appreciated. As a new teacher, sometimes people like to bring you their problems, a lot of their problems, and, you know, that's okay, but it's a little I step a little line once in a while, and so you guys only brought this stuff to me that really was important to you about making the group better. Now, this is the biggest step that I think is important. 50% of this group started in Philharmonia, which is a big deal. And 100% of you have either made your way to symphony orchestra, made it to our council, or had a leadership position in concert at some point along the way. 100%. So I think that's worth a round of applause for these folks. Yeah. So my other classes, you know, I've gone home after I hear auditions and I built dream playlists from four years from now. I didn't really do that with you guys. I didn't because I knew I had a task in front of me of helping shape you not musically, but also just as good people. And that's what I discovered. You are great people. I learned how to become a better person by watching you at camp by 
having you on my golf cart if it was your birthday, or in the shed, or making eye contact with you right now, which I tried to do with each one of you at some point. And I just think that's, that's classy. And I remember all sorts of moments, Italy, San Francisco, I don't want to go on and on. The terrible Reveille taps at camp. You know, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but, you know, I will remember you for your patience. I'll remember you for your kindness, your energy. And I will remember your smile. Can you show me? Oh, seeing your smiles are really funny because they're kind of sarcastic, but at the same time, they mean a lot. <laughs> Anyway, class of 2016, your luck, you're gonna be missed. Your legacy is strong, one six forever. If there's one bit of advice, it's one word. What are you gonna do the rest of your life? You're gonna hydrate, and that's the way it's gonna be. So seniors, we have two more pieces together. We're gonna have a grand old time. You ready to go for it? Go for it, let's do this. I bet there's graduation, but well, that's fine. It counts. Um, so, here's what we're gonna do. Let's give our seniors a round of applause. like a warm fuzzy blanket right now, why don't we just leave these here and before you leave, come and grab your blanket and throw a blanket that we, we made from you, for you. Uh, you want a towel off right now? Uh, no, no, no. Let's, let's avoid that. Okay, and apparently we have some seniors who want to say something. We wanted to thank you, Mr. Clay, for four years of devotion. You have been the best orchestra director we could ever hope for. You've given us love and support, and we couldn't have done it without you, so thank you so much. Also, I just want to thank you for all the opportunities you've given us to like, play in the community, and you've taken us to camp every year. You took us to San Francisco and Italy, and I just think that's incredible. Also, you let us win another road, so that was pretty cool. Okay, and now it's Ms. Max Mesa. Over to you. Okay, well, first we'll have Isaac. Okay, Mr. Blake, we have a bit of unfinished business from this February. For those, who, no. For those who don't know, every Valentine's Day, the symphony orchestra splits into a small trio of quartets, goes from classroom to classroom, serenading. Marketing the calendar is Valentine's Day 2017. And we play from these old photocopy booklets of serenade sheet music. And it, this year we retired a few of the old serenades and put in a few new ones, but the old ones are still in the booklet, and some things are penciled in, and some are not in others. It's a bit of a mess and a hassle every time. Mr. Glaive, here is the serenade booklet of the future. Oh my God! On that thumb drive are, are all of the serenades in modern digital editions for transposed for all instruments. Here's to a hassle-free serenades 2017. <laughs> So, senior gift. Uh, I remember um, when you've always talked about coffee ever since I've known you. And yeah, and in Italy, you know, that's all we did was fight jet lag. But yeah, that's right. No, not at all. Um, so, uh, I hope you'll enjoy, we all hope you'll enjoy. What's, yes, please, please open it. Every day. Stuff in the back, too. Yes, please. I'm sorry, okay, well, well, yeah, so I'll ruin the surprise and say that it's a hand-powered espresso machine, so it makes cups of espresso, and it has a little uh, official looking scoop thing for it. That's right, and cups and espresso to start you off. Thank you, Mr. Clay, thank you. Alright, I said four to five minutes are live, and we're gonna get this done. You ready to have some fun? Two more pieces! The special item on your way to the stage in the box off to the side. Cello bases first. Cello bases first. <laughs> 